Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists are toxic. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists are nasty and rude, mean and hateful. And they behave this way deliberately and intentionally to make you feel bad about yourself. They lack empathy so they don't care about you or your feelings. And it may even bring them joy to watch you suffer because they don't even view us as a human being. They see us as objects that exist to serve them and meet their needs. But because we're not objects, we have the power to direct our own behavior. So they have to tempt and entice us to challenge our discipline and self-control. Or if that doesn't work, they will target our self-esteem. Because if we feel bad about ourselves, we are easier to manipulate and less likely to fight back which is why they will refuse to answer questions or give you evasive replies, or they will unnecessarily criticize you, give backhanded compliments, play mind games, make unfair comparisons, invalidate your emotions, call you names, humiliate you in public, and make passive aggressive comments because they want to make you feel like something is wrong with you so that you will continue to feed their ego and make them feel important. But as soon as you realize your worth and you stop doing that, they will immediately pull away from you to where they may stop calling you, ghost you and treat you as though you're beneath their consideration because they don't want you to start thinking you're more valuable than them, even though that is actually the case which is why they have to put so much effort into proving their superiority. And it's why they must make remarks to diminish you and your efforts. Because they have these delusions of grandeur, where they feel that it is necessary to prove their superiority by putting you beneath them. Because they have to devalue you. They have to regard you as being of little worth so that they can feel like they're worth more. And if you ever point out that they're being rude or toxic, they will make an extra effort to establish their superiority to prove that their opinions are correct instead of apologizing for their rudeness. Narcissists have a black and white mentality, so they fail to attain the concept of stability and equality, which is why if they don't feel superior, they may feel inferior. And if they feel inferior, they will have to demonstrate their superiority by insulting you in some way. And even if they're asking a favor from you, they may still have an attitude because they're bitter and resentful. They hate the fact that they're dependent on other people as their sources of supply because they view people as objects or as extensions of themselves. And yet, people continuously frustrate the narcissist by demonstrating their own autonomy and independence, which is why they have to manipulate and control us under the guise of loving or caring about us. While they secretly lack consideration for our own feelings, wants or needs, which is why they may often be rude or toxic because they're empty, selfish, and they're just using us to fill a void. They only care about themselves. And if you don't say and do what they want, when they want, they will be offensively impolite and ill-mannered because they view you as an object or as an extension of themselves. So they expect you to comply. And if you don't, and instead you choose to exercise your own free will, it may cause a narcissistic injury. And then they will get very angry as a means to intimidate 
and coerce you back under their authority and control so that they can continue to meet their own needs and elevate themselves at your expense. Because they're very insecure, so they're seeking a sense of stability, security and comfort, which they derive from you. But to keep you in that position, they have to be mean in an attempt to control you and keep you at their disposal. And they don't feel bad for treating you that way because they feel entitled to treat you however they choose to. And no matter what they do, they will always find a way to justify their actions, even if they have to play the victim to make you feel bad for them. Narcissists are toxic because they are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. They have to hurt you to not feel bad about themselves. So they use you as a tool for them to remain disconnected from their own emotions. Because the last thing they want is to have to look at themselves. They are very insecure and they hate how they feel about themselves. Being in a relationship with a narcissist is similar to a relationship you might have with a child. They lack self-awareness. They throw tantrums and they lack reasoning skills. They deny flaws in themselves and blame other people for their own shortcomings. And arguing with a narcissist is like trying to prove a point to a toddler. They will never seem to understand because they lack the psychological development to be able to engage effectively in critical thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving. So you may feel like you'd have better luck talking to a wall because they're unable to grasp even simple concepts. And instead, they will often engage in word salad where they use an unintelligible mixture of seemingly random words and phrases, which may leave you questioning if they're suffering from schizophrenia because they rarely seem to make any sense. In their world, there are no healthy boundaries to define what is appropriate behavior. There's no conceptual limits between them and another, and another person. So when you're communicating with them, you're never safe because they will walk all over you with no regards. And if you're unaware, you will be easily sucked into their deceptive world of nonsense and you won't even recognize it because you will try to understand them and you will assume that what they are saying is true. But once they have gained your emotional attachment, that is when they will reveal their true nature. By devaluing and degrading you, suddenly withdrawing from you, gaslighting you and giving you the silent treatment, which are all tactics they use to manipulate, punish and control you because they feed off your attention. So they control you to keep you around to stroke their ego because they're really insecure. Underneath their mask of pride and arrogance, they have no true sense of self-worth. But it's a reality they don't want to accept. So they will do anything to avoid reflecting on this truth. Usually by harming or gaslighting you. Because the reality is that all they really want is people to be involved in their lives to make them feel important. So that they never have to deal with their own insecurities. They are fake people. They demand your trust and devotion, regardless of whether you want to or not, because they don't care about what you want. They only care about what benefits them. So they will manipulate, lie, future fake and gaslight you to stretch out the relationship far past its natural course, to garner as much validation as possible and to demonstrate the power they have over you through wreaking havoc in your mind 
to keep you bonded to their secret and destructive nature of hating who they are. They're mean and toxic because they're unhappy with themselves. They know they could never take the gaslighting, criticism and withholding that they dish out if the shoe was on the other foot. They have double standards. They expect you to follow a rule or achieve a standard that they are unable to adhere to themselves because they don't accept themselves and they don't self-reflect. They're trolls. They deliberately engage in offensive or provocative behaviors to bait people in and deliberately provoke emotional reactions because they want to confuse, upset and start arguments with people either for revenge, attention seeking, boredom or personal amusement. And they typically hit out at people who are successful, happy and enjoying their life because the narcissist life isn't like that. They engage in this behavior because they're very insecure. They feel hard done by in life, by not being as attractive, intelligent, mentally stable or socially competent as they might want to be. So they try to disrupt natural interactions in an attempt to recreate their own personal experiences, only with them being on the other end of it. Their narcissistic personality traits predispose them to engage in thrill-seeking and sadism. Because they can't find fulfillment in normal human uh, interactions. And instead they experience boredom. They feel tired and unhappy by dullness and tedious repetition. Because it's uninteresting to them. So they experience a lack of enthusiasm. And instead they get their kicks from ridiculing and tormenting people from stirring up trouble by causing unpleasant emotions or problems. They want you to feel a certain way that benefits them because then they're bringing you into their wrestling ring by causing you to experience the same emotions or scenarios that they experience. At first, they want you to feel like you're the most special and important person in the world, but then they will soon want you to feel bad, small, inferior, and unworthy of their kindness or generosity. When the regard is that it's often because they possess insufficient life, social, and love skills. So of course, they're not going to be courteous, kind, or pleasant people. They hide behind a mask of being charming, confident, and charismatic. But beneath that, they're typically very jealous and insecure, and they don't like to take accountability. They will always blame other people for their own shortcomings, but then sometimes they will act kind and secure just to reel you back in, so that they can extract more supply from you again. And as long as you're engaging with them, they will never stop. And it's because they have very fragile egos so they have a need to feel important and they lack empathy for other people as they are incredibly self-absorbed. They're so wrapped up with their own feelings, interests and situation that they can't even acknowledge your own separate existence. They view you as a tool that is available for them to use whenever and however they wish, which can often be a very offensive and unpleasant thing to go through to where it may cause dislike, disgust, anxiety, and grief. And it may give you unnecessary problems, trouble, and responsibilities, where they've given you difficult and unpleasant things to deal with and worry about because of their superiority and grandiosity delusion, which directly influences their state of arrogance, where they talk down to and look down on you which situates them to be ill-mannered and causes them to not behave well in social situations. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.